Hey everyone, it's Linda from Colorworks Designs and welcome into the Colorworks Design House. This is week number one of our new quilt along called All Stacked Up and I am so excited that you are here joining it with me to make this quilt. This is a super fun, looks complicated but it's not, quilt pattern designed by Carl, of course. So let's talk about the quilt along schedule. It's a super fast, and fun three week schedule. So week one, which is this week, is all about getting your pattern if you don't have it already, gathering all your materials or rating your stash, and then pre-cutting all of those materials. Week two is about piecing the blocks. And then week three, we're gonna put it all together. So let's get started with week one. If you don't have the pattern, head over to colorworks.com and grab the pattern. It's called All Stacked Up Again, and you can order it in PDF or paper format. Once you've got your pattern, turn it on to the back side for the materials list and decide which size you want to make. There are five sizes to choose from. So you can go from baby quilt, which is super fun and fast, or up to king size quilt, which might take you a little bit longer. Once you decide what size you're making, check down the columns for the yardage you need and start to raid your stash. So this is a really fun quilt and the stash and fabric requirements couldn't be easier. So you can use one third yard cuts, you can use quarter yard or eighth yard cuts paired together, or you can use six inch design strips, or you could even use a bundle of fat quarters to make this quilt. Plus you'll need to add some background yardage. So let's get started. And this week I'm gonna show you what each of those fabric combinations will yield for you. I'm gonna show you how to pre-cut your fabrics and then how to pair them together so that you've got a beautiful quilt in the making. Let's head over to the cutting board. So when you get the pattern at home, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is turn to the back cover and look at the materials list and decide which size all stacked up you would like to make. There are five sizes to choose from from baby to king size quilt. And as I said before, you can use different cuts of fabric here to make this all stacked up quilt. So let's take for example, the baby size quilt, which makes a 48 by 48 inch quilt. And this is the size that I'll be working on with you during the quilt along. If I look down to how many block fabrics I need, how many separate fabrics I need, I need 12 fabrics and I need them to be 12 one third yard cuts. Those would be 12, 12 inch cuts of fabric. That would be the same if I were using fat quarters or even six inch design strips. Again, I would need 12 fat quarters or 12 individual six inch design strips to make the baby size quilt. However, if I wanted to make something a little more scrappy looking, let's say like the front cover does, then I would look to the back cover again I would read this little paragraph here that explains it in more detail, but simply put, I would take however many fabrics here are under this column. So for example, again, the baby size quilt calls out 12 fabrics, and to make a more scrappy like looking quilt, like the front cover, I would double that amount. So instead of 12 fabrics, I would actually need to go get 24 fabrics, and I would choose 12 1 quarter yard cuts and 12 1 eighth yard cuts. So then once you get your fabric together, you're going to pair fabrics together. So again, if I'm making the baby size quilt and I'm using one third yard cuts, I choose 12 one third yard cuts and I'm going to pair those 12 fabrics together into six pairs. That would also be the same for the fat quarters or for the six inch design strips. Again, 12 design strips or 12 fat quarters paired together into six pairs. If I'm going to do the more scrappy look, which is on the front cover, I've doubled the amount of fabrics here, so I'm now going to go find 24 fabrics in quarter yard cuts and eighth yard cuts, and then I would pair a quarter yard cut of fabric with an eighth of a yard cut of fabric. Now I'm going to show you what each of these dimensions will yield for you when you put them together and make the blocks. So if you're choosing the one third yard cuts, the fat quarters, or the six inch design strips, Every pair of fabrics will yield you two separate blocks, one being the mirror image of the other. However, if you choose to make the scrappy looking quilt that's on the front cover, and you've doubled the amount of fabrics, so for instance on the baby quilt you need 12 fabrics, and you're going to now choose 24, and you've got a quarter yard cut and an eighth a yard cut on each of those 12 fabrics, then what you're going to yield when you put a quarter yard cut with an eighth yard cut is one block, not two blocks, but one block. That's why you need double the amount of fabric for the scrappy look. 
You might want to take a moment before you pair your fabrics together to color in the line art drawing that's included in this week's uh, blog post. It looks like this. It's the small uh, lap quilt size or the large lap that is there. I'm going to do the baby size, so I simply folded my diagram uh, according to the pattern uh, where I needed to to make it a baby size. And I've colored in using colors similar to the fabrics I'm using of where I think I'd like to pair the fabrics together and where the placement is. It's as simple as that. So you might want to take a moment to plan out and color in the line art drawings if you'd like to so that you have a better idea of where the colors are placed and that you're getting equal representation across your quilt of both value and color saturation. Now that I've colored in my line art drawing, I kind of have a better idea of where I want color placement using these fabrics that I've chosen out of my stash. I'm using this beautiful new fat quarter bundle. These are all fat quarters from the Sassafras Lane ladies. This is their new fabric line coming to shop soon, and it's called Favorite Things, and isn't it gorgeous? It is beautiful. I'm going to make my neutral background out of these four fat quarters here, so I have a more scrappy look in the background. But here are the fat quarters, and there's 12 of them. I'm making the baby quilt, and again, you're going to follow the cutting dimensions in the pattern on pages one and two when you cut. If you're using design strips or um, fat quarters, just make sure you plan out a little bit ahead of time how you're going to cut the fat quarter or the uh, design strip. It's a little bit different, but I guarantee you're going to get all the dimensions you need out of a fat quarter or a six inch design strip. If you're using third yard cuts or quarter or eighth yard cuts, go ahead and follow all the cutting diagrams that are in the pattern again on page one and two. so bad was it I mean that was actually pretty fun I think and I am looking forward to piecing the blocks with you next week for week number two until then happy colorishes quilting everybody please consider joining our Facebook group quilt along page if you haven't done so already it's over at colorworks quilt alongs and you can actually post progress photos ask questions and join our ever-growing group of fabulous colorishes quilters until then we will see you next week for week number two of the all stacked up quilt along